Hi, I'm James from DoMyOwnPestControl.com and I'm filming from our product warehouse to talk about how to get rid of bed bugs. At DoMyOwnPestControl.com, we know that the thought of doing your own bed bug treatment may seem daunting to you. This is understandable. That's why we're going to walk you through a bed bug treatment step by step so you can learn how to implement your own successful bed bug elimination treatment. Step one, prepare the space that needs to be treated. This is probably the hardest part for most folks, but whether you hire a pest control operator or do your own bed bug treatment, this step cannot be skipped. It's time to take a hard look around the room. Grab a few trash bags and bag up anything you have decided that you do not want to keep. Remember, every item left in the room must be treated in some way to get rid of hidden bed bugs. So if you don't need it or love it, toss it. Be sure to seal up the bags before carrying them out of the room to avoid transferring bed bugs to other parts of the home. Gather any clothing or linens in the room and run them through the dryer on high for about 30 minutes. Place these items in bags or storage containers to avoid reinfestation. Make sure all drawers, cabinets, and under the bed are free of any items to allow for a complete and thorough treatment. We get a lot of phone calls at this point because people aren't sure if they have to get rid of their mattress and box spring. This is usually a personal decision, but you do not have to get rid of the mattress and box spring. You can instead choose to encase them in bed bug proof covers. These covers zip up all the way around each piece and any bed bugs already on the mattress or box spring will be trapped and will eventually die. Step two is using a heat treatment. This step is optional, but we do strongly urge you to consider it. By using a steamer that reaches bed bug killing temperatures over 140 degrees Fahrenheit, you can kill a large number of bed bugs quickly. Most insecticides are not capable of killing bed bug eggs, so using heat is a great option. All heat treatments should be done before insecticide treatments to avoid degrading the insecticide. Steaming should be done slowly, and the steam should be aimed at cracks and crevices. Step three is the actual application of insecticides. There are no shortcuts here. Foggers or bug bombs should be avoided as they are rarely useful for bed bug control and can actually force bed bugs deeper into voids and make elimination take longer. We recommend using a few different products together in your bed bug program. All of the products must be specifically labeled for bed bugs. Most programs should include a concentrated liquid insecticide, an aerosol insecticide such as bedlam, and an insecticide dust. We have bed bug kits made specifically for at home treatment available on our website, domyownpestcontrol.com. Measure and mix the concentrate as recommended on the product label and apply around baseboards, door frames, window frames, around bed frames and under furniture. Allow the treated area to dry before moving on to the next step. Now that the area is dry, you can use the aerosol insecticide. Take the time to use the straw applicator on the aerosol and treat the very fine cracks and crevices on and in furniture and around the entire room. Don't forget drawers, picture frames, bed frames, and any other crack or crevice you can see. Once again, you want to allow this part of the treatment to dry before moving on to the next step. Last is the dust insecticide. The dust can be applied using a hand duster to the underside of baseboards, between mattresses and box springs, and behind drawers, in dressers, under furniture, and behind light switches and electrical outlets. Everywhere. Dusts, while a bit messy, are a great choice for use in places that are less accessible because they last for several months while sprays and aerosols only last for a few days. This means dust can be applied to areas that are hard to access since you only have to apply them every few months. Step four, treat again. Reapplications are necessary every seven to 10 days until you do not see any evidence of bed bugs for 30 days. Evidence means live bugs, blood spots on light colored sheets, bites, or cast bed bug skins. Most treatment programs, when performed as directed, will require three to four treatments. If you have more questions or need any bed bug products or pest products, please visit our website, domyownpestcontrol.com. Thanks.